Welcome to my channel, Sim Chimba Pochi Farm. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any content that I put in. And today I've got a very, very, very special topic that you need. That I, like I always have, I'm always having a very special topic. And today I want to talk specifically about uh, vaccine. So I, I want to cover up how you measure the water that you need to put your vaccine in. The beds, the, 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 the bleed and the number of vaccines the one you're supposed to give them because i've seen a lot of challenges with people how they vaccinate their beds they vaccinate them differently you know different breeds you have different vaccine schedules there are some people who are using the schedule for the other breed for vaccination they use it to the other breed so i want to clarify on that and i need people to pay a lot of attention so that they'll be able to understand this because this thing has made like poachy farmers not to have a good batch you understand so i'll start with you know the major breeds that we have here in lusaka i can say maybe in zambia i would say we have three major breeds so we have lost breeders we have tiger chicks and we have hybrid we also have zam chick but I'll just mention three major ones. The one that we usually pay attention to most of when you are going to get your baits, you prefer maybe you get tiger, rose, you get also hybrid. These are the ones which have been there for quite a while. And these are the ones I'll mention about. But tiger and hybrid, the schedule is the same. Rose is different with these breeds. So I want to mention this. So number one. The first vaccine, they vaccinate those beds at the archery. Then they will give you a schedule for vaccinating your beds. So now, let me start with uh, lost breeders. So lost breeders, of course, they will give you a schedule for vaccinating your beds. So they will tell you, you vaccinate your beds on day 10 and on day 12. And if you miss day 10, you can vaccinate the beds on day 12 both vaccines okay so now the challenge comes to to the to, to the poultry farmer especially if they didn't consult very well what usually happens is like they don't know how am i going to measure water to put my vaccine in that's where the challenge usually comes from they don't know how to measure water they can have the vaccine of course the, the recommendation for vaccine is like you keep it in a in a refrigerator so that at the range of uh, two degrees celsius to eight degrees celsius that's the temperature that is recommended for the vaccine to be installed so make sure you install your before you, you start vaccinating your pets of course sometimes you of course you buy in advance maybe one day before the vaccine so you need to install them in two degrees to eight degrees celsius those are the recommended regulation temperatures that are needed for the vaccine so let's now go ahead to see how we vaccinate the bed so the example i'll give typically it's gonna be i'll give about 400 beds so that you just where i'll put the number of beds you just press the number of your beds that you are having which will make it simple so i'll start with lost breeders lost breeders you will have the 10 and the 12 so how do you measure the water that you're supposed to use on the on the vaccine that you're about to give your beds? So first of all, let me catch up with this. Before you vaccinate your beds, we advise like you take out water in your pottery for two hours. According to the weather, the way it is, two hours or one hour thirty or one hour. If the weather is too hot you remove maybe for one hour or one hour 30, one hour 20 within this range. So you remove, I will assume like the temperature is normal. So which means you will remove for two hours, you take out the water. Then you get your, after two hours, you get your vaccine. So now let's go ahead how you measure the water. So now you pick, you, you start with the number of beds, okay? Maybe I, I, I said I'll give an example of 100 beds. So 100 beds, 
the number of beds multiplied by 10 okay multiplied multiplied by 1.5 divided by divide by that's a division by 1000 then the number that to the, the the number that will the answer that will come out is the number of liters that you need to use for your beds so let me repeat that number of beds multiplied by age multiplied by 1.5 mod, that multiplied by 1.5 divide by 1000 then the answer that you get is the number of liters that you need for your beds and you know when it comes to measuring uh, the liters of for example maybe you for for, for example like um, having the four liters jinkers of course i will measure maybe if i need three point something which means it i'll be approximately thinking this is where the three meters three, three liters 3.5 liters is but the accurate way you can measure the number of liters easy you just get if you have a scale you put on the scale the number of kgs that you measure maybe if they they, they the number of kgs is the number of liters that you measure of course you tear so that you start afresh so when you do that you are good to go with uh, the vaccine and i've got a video how you open up your vaccine of course you open up of course they'll give you instructions whereby you need to dip it into water that's when you open it inside the water that's the instructions you'll be given so i've given you how you measure your water how you open up your vaccine so let me repeat about the measurement of water so number of beds multiplied by 10 i'm on lost breeders multiplied by 1.5 divide divide by 1000 the answer you get is in the number of liters you need so that's i said i'll give 100 so 100 100 beds multiplied by the age which is 10 days multiplied by 1.5 divided by 1000 the answer you get is the number of liters you need to vaccinate your beds on so if you're having 500 you put 100 beds multiplied by 10 then when you go to the second uh, the second uh, vaccine which is on day 12 you multiply 100 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1.5 divided by 1000 the liters you get are the ones you're going to use for your base then the first vaccine for lost breeders of course is gumbulo the second one is newcastle okay so we are done with our lost breeders so about the multiplication of water is the same with also the other breeders so with tiger and hybrid the vaccination the vaccination schedule is the same there's no difference with these two breeders so the first the first vaccine you give your beds for hybrid or tiger you give on the 10th it's always on the 10th and the first vaccine also for these beds it's given on the first day of the hatchery at the hatchery there you don't need that they have already vaccinated the first vaccine so the first vaccine so the vaccine that you're going to use that, that you're going to vaccinate your beds on is the second one so the first vaccine you have to give your beds is a uh, i think i made a mistake on uh, mentioning the vaccine that you need to the first vaccine you need to give your beds it's gumbolo then the last one is newcastle for lost breeders so let's go back now to i've just clarified that because i made a mistake so now let's go to tigers tiger tiger and hybrid so day 10 you give gumbolo okay the first vaccine gumbolo i've given you how you multiply the number of the, the number of beds multiplied by the number of days which is the age multiplied by 1.5 it's the same with these also so day 10 that's gumbolo for tiger and hybrid from day 10 you vaccinate the beds on day 14 which is you give newcastle then from there you vaccinate on day 18 which is you go back to gumbolo then the last vaccine you give the beds that is for hybrid and tiger the last vaccine you give them is day 21 which is newcastle 
that means you are done. And I hope you understand how you measure your water. This is very, very, very important because some people, you know, they will just add water. They don't know the amount of water which they need to, 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 to put into the vaccine they are giving their beds. So you multiply the way I've given you according to the number. The vaccine, of course, when you're buying, you say like I have 100 beds or maybe I have 500 beds, they'll give you that vaccine. And then the measurement is the same one for the liters of water you need to use for your beds. So I needed to make sure this is really clarified because uh, a lot of people make mistakes and it, it's, it, you need to not to make mistakes because it's, it's, you know, it's quite stressing when your beds are sick, they are not doing well. So the other thing is, when you finish vaccinating your beds all the time, you need to give them stress back. Why do you give them stress back? It's because they were stressed with testing. They were so stressed with testing, now you need to take that stress out. That's why now you apply now vaccine, which, you, no, sorry, stress pack, which you need to release the stress which they were having. And you know, when the beds are having stress, they, would, they lose a lot of vitamins and proteins. So you need to gain that back, especially vitamins. So in, in stress pack, there's vitamins there. So when you finish vaccinating your beds, the moment they finish drinking water, which we is recommended to, only they need to drink only for two hours. If the vaccinated water is still in the drinkers, take it out because it has already expired because it's only given for two hours. And you know, when you just properly vaccinate the beds and you follow the schedule properly, the beds finish up water within even an hour. They are done with drinking the water because they were thirsty. You gave them two hours without water. They were thirsty. They were stressing. That's why now we recommend like you use now stress pack to make sure that release that that stress they were having it's out and you know especially when they've lost vitamins then they will gain the vitamins through using stress pack stress pack is good for the beds sometimes in hot season you need to use stress pack all the way so guys this is it this is how you measure your your, your water this is how you you need to come up with the number of liters you need to use for your beds so guys I know you've already liked you like the video already put a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber so that you can be watching each and every content that we're putting so that you are able to do poultry farming successfully so guys that's the way it is subscribe and make sure you watch all the videos that i've put there because there's a lot of information needed to have before you start the poultry farm and this is one of them so the challenge mostly is on vaccine, how you measure the now the water. That's where most poultry farmers have the challenge on. So I've clarified that. And thank you for watching. And make sure you subscribe once more. And make sure you put your thumbs up so that I'll be able to see like people like the information I've shared. And I'll be able to see like, okay, people are, are, are learning and people are able to understand. And they, 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 they will be successful in poultry farming. So guys, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch the other videos so that you can get knowledge about poultry farming. Bye-bye.